Over the years, I've had many questions about this circuit, and you can take a look at the original video uh, because I've gone into it in much more detail than I'm going to go into in this video. And in this video, I have decided to change the lamp to a LED, and that's what we have in this circuit here. And I'm going to show you a demonstration of this circuit with the LED. But uh, the purpose of this video is, over the years, these questions have evolved, and I've answered all of them except this one right now, which is, can you make this work exactly the opposite? In other words, this circuit that you see right here, when light hits it, the LED is off. And when it gets dark, the LED comes on. And several uh, YouTubers have asked me, can you reverse that? So I thought we'd uh, look into that today. Now how this circuit works is when the phototransistor is in darkness, it has a very high impedance, which this circuit shows. It just really doesn't even exist in the circuit anymore. And the positive voltage goes directly to the gate of the MOSFET, which turns on the LED. The other scenario of this circuit is when light hits it, it's pretty much a direct short, which turns off or shorts out the positive voltage that goes to the gate, which turns off the MOSFET. And here's a demonstration of this part or the original circuit. Okay, here's the circuit. This time I'm using a LED instead of a lamp. And I just wanted to do that. No particular reason. And when I, I've got two lamps on either side. So when I block one lamp, you can see it lights. But now when I block the other lamp, it gets brighter. Okay, there's one lamp and there's the other one. Okay. Now I've had several questions about this using a, oh, let's see, photo cells and all different kinds of questions and Another one was, well, can you make this work the other way? In other words, it should be on now, and when I cover it up, it goes out. So, I just had another question uh, just a day or so ago. So I thought, well, let's modify this circuit and see if we can't make it work exactly opposite of what it does now. Okay, I've modified the circuit. We've got a 100K ohm resistor here and two 100K ohm resistors right here, which is 50. And now we've got the gate hooked up to E of the photo transistor. Let's turn this on. Turn on the power supply and as you can see, it now comes on when we have light. Well, let's turn off the lights. Oh, if I can. There we go. I'll turn this one off. And the light goes out. Oh, 
which is just the opposite of the other circuit. Let me turn on both lights, see if I can block it with my hand and arm here. There we go. So when it gets dark, it goes out. And when the sun comes up, it lights up. Just the opposite of the other circuit. So let's take a look at the wiring diagram of this circuit. As you saw in the video, the new circuit works exactly opposite of the original one. In other words, when light hits the phototransistor, the LED lights, and when it's in darkness, it goes out, which is 180 degrees out. But notice the difference in the circuit. In the first circuit, the gate is hooked up to the collector. And in this new circuit, the gate is hooked up to the emitter. And between those two points, it is 180 degrees out. So, in other words, when the phototransistor is in darkness, it's like it's not in the circuit, so the gate is grounded. And when the phototransistor is in light, it's pretty much just a wire, and there's enough voltage coming from the 12 volt power supply through that 100 K ohm resistor to turn on the MOSFET. Several years ago, I did a video on phasing, and this is another example of phasing. Normally you think of it as uh, an AC signal, but uh, this demonstration shows the difference from taking the signal from the collector or taking the signal from the emitter. And it is 180 degrees out. Thanks for watching.